Whoa! This is a new area, huh? There are two treasure chests there. This one contains uh, 20 thin hides. The other one? Oh, the other one uh, contains. Chiggle extract. That's definitely new. Chiggle extract revives fallen allies and recovers 300 HP. Oh, nice. What if I. Hmm, can I use this? Oh, I'm just gonna remove that. Whoa! What if I do this? I will open us, open a path uh, uh, up. Hmm, I really. D uh, it was hard for me to actually see it. There is actually a path up. Let the music play! Damn, nice! Okay, we opened uh, up a new path that actually allows us to go even further up. So let's go ahead and go up. We. Whoa! Oh, is that a new area? Yeah, that's definitely a different path there. So I probably need to... Ooh, do this. No shit! Or is it that the previous... Oh, I think, yeah, this is the previous area. Oh! This is uh, where I've been, where I put the, uh, the windpipe. Okay. Well, uh... Alright, there's a healing spot. Uh, a healing, uh... Monument. So, uh, I am going to assume that uh, the path up ahead will lead uh, towards a boss fight. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue towards the boss. Well, I assume it's gonna be the boss. This is the highest point. Uh, at the, uh, you know, this area. I'm supposed we are at the middle tower. They said definitely, they said the, at the top of the middle powers uh, where the altar lies. So let's go ahead and do that. Huh? Do you smell that? Uh, I didn't do it. It was doggy. Smell what? The wind. It smells like something's rotting. Yeah, it's doggy. Now that you mention it, it's doggy. <laughs> it is the presence of uh, impurities in high concentration. If this sensation is to be believed. What the? Whoa! Whoa! What the hell is that? What kind of monster is that? Oh, the heat effects. For boss fight time against Kavakilo, holy. I definitely, uh. Oh! He definitely tried to grab me. Wow. Uh, this uh, guy isn't easy. This guy's definitely is not easy. Oh. Uh, this panic effect is uh, annoying me a little bit. I have to wait for it to recover.
What the hell is this? Damn, that's an interesting attack. Now this guy... Damn. How can you dodge that? Yeah, this guy is... Uh, isn't easy. You can barely attack him. He recovers really fast. Let's do it. That did a lot of damage to him. Whoa, these attacks. Yeah, this one is definitely uh, not easy. Whoa! That spell, dude. <sighs> Damn, twice, huh? really cannot get near him, that's the problem. Oh shit, I actually got him. What the hell was that attack? Yeah, I'm barely uh, doing any uh, reasonable damage to him. It's probably because uh, of the skills that I'm choosing. Definitely. But yeah, this is uh, this guy is giving me tr trouble. This attack is annoying, the one that actually, uh, uh, this attack, uh, here actually, uh, sucks you in towards him, I, uh, I really cannot do anything there. I got so I got so Oh, please don't die. Oh, I managed to dodge that attack. Yeah, this guy, uh, this guy is a son of a bitch. Whoa! He just shouts and everyone they get stoned? You don't have a lot of opportunities to attack this fool. Oh shit. Yeah, this this attack, this this stupid ass attack, it's too good. The one that sucks you in? This attack, dude! Uh I probably need to use one of these. I'll definitely try and use them later. This attack, this attack is absolutely ridiculous. Mm. Let's 
this. Um, let me use this. Yeah, I'm not equipped with the uh, with the best of skill. Oh, what the hell are these? Hopefully. Oh shit, he did a really uh, big ass attack. Shit. Not again. What the hell? The eggs hashed? I shot himself. Ah shit! These attacks. This one is uh this one is really annoying. Again, huh? Man, this attack is absolutely crazy. Damage. Let's do it. I need to do this attack so I can actually stop it. Dude, this guy is uh, this boss is definitely the hardest so far. about to die though. He's gonna do it again. Ah, uh, twice? Got hatched, shit. Oh, please, you can. Uh... 
You can break from petrification by, uh, you know, by mashing. That got me. Ah, uh, that got me too? Holy hell, that, that definitely hurt. He's gonna do it again. He did his attack. Oh shit, I'm dead. Oh god. <laughs> barely. I barely killed him. Holy hell. Even Adol killed him as an AI. Whew. Ah. What the hell is that smoky thing? Cavachilus was originally a wondrous giant bird that chose to live only on the highest peaks. But now, it seems to have been corrupted by the impurities in its body, and has subsequent, uh, sub, uh, subsequent, uh, subsequently been overcome by the miasma. The miasma? A surmise was attracted uh, to the vast amount of dragon energy in the air. This is... the miasma. We must purify this place. For the safety of all. Damn, she's gonna do the summoning. Final Fantasy X. The sending, not the summoning. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so a giant bird is exposed to the miasma and starts totally flipping out. Nothing makes any sense anymore. Tell me about it. What is this miasma? Well, we haven't introduced to that yet. This is the first time that the game introduces us to the to the to this miasma. It would be most uh, fortunate if the Wind Dragon could pr could provide us with uh, some aid or advice. The altar is below here. Shall we? Let me. All right. Let me at it. All right. So we managed. Uh, will she get any experience? Actually, she, it's it's not essential for her to get any experience at this moment, but god damn, that boss definitely kicked my ass. I did not expect that him to actually do that. But holy hell. Holy hell. This is the time where I should have uh, actually, you know, should have actually used uh, the, uh, the dragon energy drop. Yeah, I think uh, it was. Uh, it's actually better for me to bring. Uh, to bring. Uh, what do you call it? To bring uh, Aisha to this battle. And definitely the set of skills that I actually got. It's not the best. That's why it is actually beneficial to uh, for me to actually uh, equip all of the, all of the skills. Huh? <laughs> mm, but I don't. But, but I don't do that. Let me. We must fight. Huh. Uh, we don't need healing, yeah, yeah. Whew, that, that was definitely uh, something, viewers. That was definitely something. Yeah, by far, this is the hardest battle so far. Huh, I, it was definitely uh, 
definitely, uh, I probably needed some prepare. Uh, I need it needed to be uh, to to prepare a little bit. Not to mention that uh, the AI was kind of trash. I gotta be honest. They didn't attack, but I guess this was uh, definitely. Um, I guess uh, yeah. I think you probably need to be ready. Yeah, this is uh, this is by far the hardest boss so far. It was enjoyable too. All right, let's go ahead and head to the uh, towards the altar. Mm, the wind altar. All right. Mm, cool. So this is the altar of Kilos. Yes, it's dedicated to uh, to one of the five pillars of Altago, Muanti, the Wind Dragon. The five dragons sustain the world. We have revered the dragons since time imm immemorial, and followed their t teachings in order to maintain the order of Altago. Damn, having dragons as gods, huh? However, faith in the dragons is weak throughout Altago today, and thus the dragon's presence uh, follows suit. So, no faith, no dragon. Bummer. Adol, how is it? You feel anything? In the valley betwixt the moon and sea lay ancient Teltago. Hmm. Moon and sea? When man forgetteth his heart, ancient Teltago doth tremble. The wind conceiveth impurity. The flame doth lose its uh, radiance. O oh, distant warrior, to he I shall giveth my seal. Er, Altago meeteth doom. Altago? Thou shouldst visit my brethren. But we already visited all of the altars now, right? Received wind seal. With the wind seal uh, residing in Adol, attacks will charge up twice as fast. Ah, interesting. Along with an increased charge rate, the amount of SP gained per hit will also increase. Nice! I like that. Man, the five dragons. Wait, did we meet all of them? I think uh, there's uh, one left, right? We only met four. They seem to really have taken a shining to you, Adol. The Wind Dragon has acknowledged you, Adol Christian. That power you received is his divine protection. It will support you in your journey. One by one, the dragons grant Adol their power. I guess he really is a chosen one. But what are they saying when they talk to him? All that stuff about chaos and impurities and whatnot. It's all so ominous. It is indeed. Mishira? Do you know something? I do. Hmm. I finally understand, after hearing the words of the Wind Dragon. Let us return to the village. There is something I must tell you. 
It's in regards to the uh, unexplained calamities that have been uh, occurring throughout Altago. As well as the strange phenomena of late. Well, that was fast. <laughs> We're back at the village. At uh, Mishira's crib. There have been an increasing number of strange occurrences across Altago these past several years. Crop failures, titano attacks, and abnormal weather, to name a few. Yeah, so I've heard. No one knows why uh, they are happening, and none of these uh, so-called anomalies seems to be related. It's global warming. <laughs> It's all just a series of unfortunate events that are becoming f more frequent and getting worse by the day. Every place we've been so far has been full of rumors and ill tidings. But what do you mean no, no one knows uh, why they're happening? I believe the root of these anomalies lies nearly 200 years ago. 200 years? Wait. Are you, uh, well, I've played, uh, E's Origin. <laughs> I played E's Origin. Hmm. Is this related to that? In Altago, there exist the five great dragons of the five tribes. Each of the five tribes revered uh, one of the dragons and shouldered its uh, corresponding role. The Earth tribe of Shinoa was, was to protect the harvest. The Flame Tribe of Sigram was to honor the, the uh, vitality of the people. The Wind Tribe of Kilos was uh, to cycle life energy. The Sea Tribe of Idona was to ensure prosperity and fulfillment. Yeah, this is uh, the only... Uh, uh, there's the, this is the only uh, altar that we didn't go to. The Water Altar, or whatever that is. And lastly, the Moon Tribe of Iska was to keep everything in balance. Eska. The balance of Altago was preserved by, the, by each tribe respecting its sacred duties, as well as those of the other tribes. However, roughly 200 years ago, two of the five tribes disappeared. Hmm, the Water Tribe and the Moon Tribe. Two tribes. That would, uh, would have been the Sea Tribe Idona and the Moon Tribe Eska. Wait, Eska? As in... Eskan Fever? That can't be... Uh, uh, that can't be coincidence. Was the illness named after the Lost Tribe? The source of its name has been lost to time, but... It does seem likely. At any rate... As a, result, as a result of the two entire tribes being removed from the equation, the balance of Altago. The balance of Altago has crumbled, slowly, over the past 200 years, and faith in the five dragons has gone with it. I believe that perhaps, perhaps the numerous anomalies are, ma manifest, uh, are the manifestation of the, this fundamental imbalance. Manifestation, huh? It sounds complicated. Adol, what do you think about all this? Honestly, it sounds like a problem for the people of Altago to deal with. Not you and me. Uh, Tom, come to think of it, I think you're right, doggy. I mean, what's our purpose here in uh, the first place? Well, actually, to answer to the king, of course. Like, we'll have to report all of these findings to the king, and then and that's that. This is their problem, it's not ours. Hmm. This is, as you say, all a problem for the five tribes that inhabit uh, this land. It should be of no concern to you directly. However... Adol, you have heard the voices of four of the, uh, of the five dragons and received their powers. It therefore stands uh, to reason 
that the best course of action from here would be for you to visit the last dragon. The last dragon? Well, Adol already got the powers of the moon, earth, flame, and wind. So, there's uh, the water, uh, the sea dragon, huh? Only the sea dragons left. But the sea tribe disappeared like uh, the moon tribe, right? So where are we supposed to go to find the sea dragon's altar? Don't tell me it's gonna be in that uh, island. That uh, we can see from the shores of uh, Altago City. Forgot its name. I'd hoped perhaps you knew. The tribe of Iska is indeed said to have disappeared from Altago. However, the tribe of Edna still exists. Alibi in a vastly different form. B in a different form? What does that mean? Their current location is in Altago City. What? And the current elder of uh, Idona is His Majesty, the Sovereign of Altago. King? Kmarl himself? What? What the? I... that's definitely news to us. What? So that's why the royal family name is Idunas? Huh... If the oral traditions still survive in the royal lineage, then His Majesty may know the location of the sea altar. Adol Christian, I believe your course is clear. You must consult the king. Uh, you, you must consult with King uh, Kmarl. Adol agreed, and said that he would visit the king to speak with him directly. Uh, yeah, that does seem like the obvious choice. Right back where we started. Guess it's time to head back to the city, uh, and time for me to head back to the palace. I have a good idea with the. Uh, I have a good idea what the situation in Altago uh, in Altago now is in Altago now, and honestly, I'm dying to hear what Father has to say about all this. Um, Mishira, I want to thank you for everything. You've been an enormous help. I have only done my part. As the elders of Kilos. I am a part of this story by default. Adol Christian, if you truly are he who hath been chosen, then I am certain we will meet again. Until that day, I bid you farewell and good luck. Alright, so that's that for Kilos and the Wind Altar. Damn, that I still. That boss is still cheap. <laughs> <laughs> that boss is really, really cheap, I gotta be honest, but it was fun battling him. I could have done much better if I had the better, uh, the better uh, uh, skills and ability. Definitely if I added uh, Aisha to the equation, I could have uh, done much, much better. Mm. I'm up! I'm up! Alright, let's give you a blue jewel, because you need it, uh, lady. Mm. Mm, what about you, lady? Do you actually have something? I just want to check on the skills that I want to level up. So I guess I'm gonna roll with kill Killer Hornet. Yeah. Mm, you with uppercuts. <laughs> the Elder of Yodona is King uh, Kmarl, the Sovereign of Altago. I doubt any uh, anyone but His Majesty knows the lore and the uh, legendary of the Sea Dragon. He may also know how the people of Yodona came uh, to live in Altago City. I believe it would be uh, best to consult His Majesty directly on this matter. The Elder Verdona is King Kmarl, the Sovereign of Altago. 
If the Aura tradition remains in the royal family, then he must know the location of the Sea Dragon's altar. I believe it would be best to consult his majesty directly on this matter. Alright, so I guess that's that from Shira. Definitely uh, the best uh, character so far. Even though she didn't serve us that well. I, she, she actually definitely served, served us best in that battle. Even though the combination itself was really, 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 really not working for me. The, the boss was hard. Since the elders has returned, I am preparing her some uh, her herbal tea. A young lady I once uh, met at the foot of the gorge uh, taught me how to make it. And it's both delicious and nut uh, uh, nutritious. Hmm, what kind of herbal tea is that? Tea? I met a young lady at the foot of the gorge who was uh, well versed in, uh, in, uh, in herb lore. I have not seen her since, however. Hmm. I wonder if she's um, talking about Tia. Before I actually leave uh, Kilos, let's go ahead and talk to the townsfolk here. The windmill on the large uh, platform just beside the Elders' uh, residence has the names of everyone in the village on it. Was well, that so? When a child is born, we carve his or her name on our, pri uh, on our prime windmill and beg the great wind dragon for protection. When a, chill, when a child is born, we carve his or her name on our prime windmill and beg blah blah blah. The Elder's Wind site allows us to deal with many anomal uh, anomalies before they become issues, but lately it's been a bit off. Huh. She says there's nothing she can do uh, to reju uh, rejuvenate the potency as uh, the problem is rooted in the chaos in Altago. Elder Smishira's wind sight isn't working uh, as well as before. Something's definitely wrong. Hmm. You, were, you guys were boasting about uh, her accuracy about these things. Elder Smishira can use a great many arts, but her speciality is uh, undoubtedly wind sight. Perhaps she can see things as they truly are precisely because she has no physical sight to distract her. Yeah, that's crazy talk. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sure uh, nobody wants to lose uh, you know, his eyesight at all. Maybe Elder Mishira gained Windsight precisely because she lost her natural ability to see. Now that's crazy talk. Sudden gusts of wind uh, are becoming particularly frequent lately, so my mother told me to avoid the edge. I wish I could run around like any normal kid would. I tried to stay away from the cliff edges because of the sudden frequent gusts. It's a dangerous place to hang out. Mm. Hmm? It seems like the water's a bit murky today. Maybe the water wheel's dirty. Guess it's time to have it cleaned. Hmm, murky water, you say? I can't believe the water this far upstream is uh, polluted. Our water wheels uh, must have uh, gotten dirty or something. Yeah, usually the source, uh, uh, the water is cleanest uh, near uh, the source. There was a big commotion earlier when we saw a titano flying over the holy uh, precincts of wind. Yeah, we killed that shit. I'd never seen a titano before. It was beautiful, but seeing one so close was kind of scary. It was. Uh, it smelled. We thought it was. Uh, was uh, it was doggy. It was both doggy and the titano. I didn't know titanos were so huge. They're neat, but it's kind of scary when they come uh, so close to the village. Who's that Pokemon, huh? It's Titanos, the uh, filthy bird. The goats aren't uh, producing so uh, as much milk as before. They don't seem to be sick or anything, though. Monsters getting violent. Titanos buzzing in the village. An earthquake. And now this? What the hell is going on? Could the goat be producing less milk because of the anomalies? I wish I knew why all this was happening. It's because of the dog. It's you, huh? You're the culprit! Off with the hit! 
purify this evil. Uh, the winds are weak today. But some days they are howling gale. Uh, they've been completely unpredictable lately. Can't control the wind, of course. But that's just uh, the problem. No control means no ability to predict. When the wind's uh, so erratic, it puts a big strain on the windmills. I'll need to inspect them regularly for damage. Yeah, that sound, sounds like uh, a lot of work. I did talk to you, right? Yeah, I did. Not to you, though. I think that you're the last one to talk to. Other than the ones inside the houses. The wind blowing over the village has grown rather ominous. It's a, tip it's a tepid wind, and I sense malice in it. Please, exercise extra caution. This wind is tepid, and sinister, uh, uh, and sinister tidings are carried on it. Please, take heed out there. In addition to the larger caves, there's also a small one-room cavern in the gorge with an odd uh, symbol on the wall. Yeah, we've seen that. We've seen that uh, small cave and the symbol on it. It's been there as long as anyone can recall. But no one seems to know what the symbol means. Or how it got there. Even the elders can't identify the symbol on that dead end wall in the gorge. Uh, it must be extremely ancient. Maybe it's one that was, uh, you know... A graffiti, some gangsters, gangsters, uh, gangsters uh, you know, claiming their territories. Uh, what was the uh, gangs uh, from San Andreas? Grow Street, or something like that, forgot. Ah shit, here we go again. Monsters came to the village and drew in the field of, of uh, crop just a short while ago. Oh shit. The monsters are behaving so strangely. Uh, this kind of thing was almost unheard of, uh, unheard of uh, up until uh, just a few years ago. Why would monsters damage a crop field? They're acting so uh, chaotically these days. No rhyme or reason to anything. Oh, they are monsters. You know, speaking of Sand and Reyes in GTA in general, I, I'm actually thinking of playing one of these games. I've been thinking of playing uh, Vice City, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna do it, you know, on stream or as a Let's Play series. I think it's probably better to play that game as, uh, you know, as a, as a streaming game. Even though I'm gonna assume it's gonna take me ages until I finish it. So I really don't know. Looking for anything in particular? Let's talk. Elders me, Shara also uses arts that can heal injuries and illnesses. However, she said that none of her uh, arts can cure Iskan fever. What a horrifying disease. Even Elders Mish uh, Mishira's uh, healing arts don't seem to work on Iskan fever, which means likely nothing will. Oh shit. Nothing will? That's. Uh, that's uh that's ominous, lady. That's ominous. I definitely need to buy some of these in the future, especially before I go to the to a boss fight or something. Hmm. Twenty ashen rocks. Wow, iron ore. I don't have a lot of iron ores. Must have consumed a lot of them because I, have, uh, as far as I remember, I actually had a lot of them. So I need twenty of this. Ten. And ten. Yes, this is gonna cover it. I think. Um, not, it's not gonna uh, it's not gonna cover the uh, uh, these though so I can get the weapons but not the more cassette bracelet which uh I'm fine in trying to get uh, 
Yeah, I think I need to grind, so it's like, uh, I need the total of 60. Right? Yeah, I need a total of 60 for these, so I might actually do this off-screen. Uh -huh. What about the other weapons? Let me check uh, the other uh, the other ingredients, I mean. So, iron ore, I do have iron ore. Monster horn. So, iron ore. Monster horn, 20. Twenty, twenty, and twenty. Yeah, I have enough monster horns. So it's the ash and rock that I actually need. Uh, monster scale, though. Oh, I, I have enough. Yeah, I have enough. I have enough of everything. So far, outside of the ash and rock. So yeah, I'm gonna actually. Uh, let me go ahead then get these weapons. New skill? Oh, there is a new skill. Sword Dance. 40 SP. A heavily decorated uh, ceremonial dagger. Let's give it to, to Adol. And there's Gena. Uh, modeled after ancient war gear. An Orkilo bow, made uh, from uh, withered wood found in the gorge. No, huh. doesn't sound like it's <laughs> gonna be something really good. What's this kill here? Hydro shot, and Gena gives a blaster kick. Fifty. God damn. So, let's go ahead and equip uh, these new skills. Mm. Blaster kick. Uh, yeah, let's check out these skills. Uh, Sword Dance performs uh, spinning slashes with a wide area of effect. A blaster kick kicks repeatedly and finishes off with a knockdown. Hydro shot creates a water pillar that launches the enemy. Huh. Interesting. Right, Let's do it. Too. Run me at it. All right. Now. Yeah. I'm up. Let's go check in on the uh, other folks here. Uh, we were harvesting uh, so little grain compared to last year. Grain is a staple uh, of our diet, so a shortage is a very serious problem. We need to start uh, stockpiling what we have. Our harvest won't be as large as this year. Grain is a staple of our diet, so this uh, presents a serious problem. 